Hello, my name is Tim Olson. I'm with Emerson Process Management. I am the main programming chair here at the AICG Spring Meeting in New Orleans. And I'm also the past chair for the Fuels and Petrochemicals Division. And today I'm, I'm speaking with Mike Millard from UOP. He has 36 years with UOP. He's a senior vice president and general manager for the catalyst and adsorption and specialty sector. And he just gave a, a presentation for a fuels and petrochemicals keynote, which is refining and petrochemical integration, managing molecules to maximize value. And I'd ask Mike as, as a first question for those that have missed this particular uh, presentation, can you give us a brief um, summary on, on what you spoke about? Yeah, sure, Tim. Thank you for having me here today, and thanks for the opportunity to speak at the AICHE, Fuels and Petrochemicals Division. Uh, the main part of the presentation was there are a lot of opportunities for refiners today to maximize the profitability from their current assets by integrating petrochemical processes. And with the decrease in gasoline demand on a global basis, we see that the industry has excess naphtha in the US, Europe, and in uh, certain other markets in the Middle East. And the real question is how to monetize those and what you're going to do with it. And there's opportunities for turning these naphtha streams into valuable petrochemicals, ethylene, propylene, paraxylene, that go on to make chemicals in our industry. And I guess the new process technologies that have come out to help people do that make them more competitive. And there is a nice balance between the excess naphtha that's available and then the growth in petrochemicals on a global basis, such that the two together can be matched up, increase profitability for refiners, and meet the demand for global petrochemicals. Great, great summary. It was a, a great presentation um, showing the, just the, the globalization that's associated with the fuels and petrochemicals, and they really are integrated. Uh, I would ask a question that related to some of the undergraduate chemical engineers as they're coming out. Um, what kind of advice or encouragement would you give them to, to come into the fuels and petrochemicals, any of these types of industries? Yeah, I, I say that uh, right now our current philosophy is there's a shortage of engineering talent in the United States. With the shale gas providing low cost energy and the tight oils providing advantage crude oils, and Canadian crude oils come in the United States, you see the United States refining industry is running at maximum capacity. Any excess it produces is being exported south into Latin and South America. So the refining industry is very healthy, very profitable, and looking to expand. Also, every one of the refineries is having to run with these new crude oils means they need a lot of process engineers to understand how to maximize the use of their assets and what kind of revamps they have to do. You put that in the combination of the announced 10 projects to make petrochemicals from ethane in the United States, propane dehydrogenation projects. You put that on top of the continual need to invest more in natural gas production. Then you're talking about exporting LNGs. So many companies in the United States, the big contractors, are having very good times. They need a lot of engineers. And you'll see that even UOP, over the last three years, we've added probably more than four or 500 engineers to our staff. So we're growing along with the industry, and we're finding it difficult to find engineers. So I think there's a lot of promise for engineers. But the key is getting summer internships. Look for those internships in the companies that are in the industry. That'll give you a leg up when you get out of school. Okay, and basically with this, uh, in a sense, sh uh, skill shortages for chemical engineers at this time, um, and you're offering uh, opportunities at co-ops. Is there any other advice uh, for these uh, graduating chemical engineers that they should do uh, in a sense to prepare because they're gonna be taking on more responsibility uh, mm. because of the shortage? Is there anything more that they can be doing to help make sure that they're ready to hit the ground running when they get out in the workforce? Well, I, like I say, I think that the key here is apply for internships in companies Almost everybody has a summer intern program. Uh, in UOP's case, we hire them on a global basis in each region because we're a global company. But about 50% of them come into the UOP company in the summertime. They're involved in our engineering. They're involved in our research and development. 
And on top of that, we're building a lot of catalyst plant expansions, and we're actually hiring summer interns to help with some of that work. Those plants have to operate, and while they're expanding, they want their engineers need to be split time. So by bringing interns in, they can help them operate their plants and deal with new projects. And it really gives the interns the idea of both sides of the equation, how to operate plants as well as how to help with new construction. I think there's lots of opportunities in the industry for, for young engineers, but you have to have that experience. So when you get out, you're already, you have something you can bring on your resume that says, I actually worked in a plant, I worked in, a, in an industry, a petrochemical plant, gas plant, and I've had some skills. Oh, perfect. I would also say the Houston area is the shortest right now. So if you're looking for summer internships, that's where I'd go. Okay. Well, well good. I appreciate the time here for us to briefly have a conversation about uh, your keynote. It was a fantastic presentation, and I, I do thank you for taking a moment. Uh, thank you for the time. Like I said at the end, I think this is a message of hope. You see a lot of opportunity for U.S. industry to continue to make profitable refining and also make additional profitable petrochemicals. Uh, I think the global growth in petrochemicals and the global growth in fuels is going to provide a lot of opportunity for our industry as we help the society move into a much larger middle class and provide all the products that they need for that. Thanks, Dave. Right. You bet. Thanks. It's, it's definitely a positive um, situation that's going on, especially here in North America right now. And we need all the engineers we can get, <laughs> believe me. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thanks.